Uh, I rise for the purpose of, that a lot of my colleagues do uh, to speak sh for a short period of time about our deceased colleague, Senator John McCain. So in regard to those remarks, since I'm going to also speak on another subject, I ask unanimous consent that my remarks on Senator McCain be inserted in the record uh, where other people have spoken on that same subject. Without objection. No. I begin my remarks by paying my respect to our colleague and friend, Senator John McCain. A great American has died. Senator McCain represented the people of Arizona and the United States of America with great honor and always holding his ground and sticking to his principles. Sticking to his principles have, her, have been the words used by more colleagues since his death than any other description of him. Senator McCain was tough and tenacious, both as a 32-year member of the United States Senate and also as a member of the United States Navy. His grit and determination as a prisoner of war in Vietnam is legendary and ought to be an inspiration. For the rest of his life, he understood from his own experience what it takes to keep a country safe, and he stood up for the security of the United States, and in turn, that was standing up for the security of the world. He prioritized those in uniform and the veterans who safeguard our nation. I had tremendous respect for Senator McCain's leadership of the Armed Services Committee and for the many ways that he led on a number one responsibility of the federal government, our national defense. Senator McCain and I served in the Senate together since 1986. Even after he became ill last year, Senator McCain's charisma was as strong as ever. At Christmas time, he greeted me with an off repeated joke that he had had since he was a candidate for president and traveling around Iowa. He learned a lot about Iowa, and this greeting was something like, well, Chuck, I had my glass of ethanol for breakfast. Or on another time, he would often say to me something he learned in Iowa uh, about advertising by John Deere Corporation, nothing runs like a deer. And of course, being from Iowa, I like to hear that sort of a greeting. And it was often that he said those things to me. As I stand here today with his Senate desk, close at hand and draped in his honor. My wife Barbara and I share our condolences with Cindy McCain and Senator McCain's entire family. Senator McCain sacrificed so much of himself for his country and we are grateful for his lifetime of service.